Hey guys, Kat here, welcome. Today we're gonna flow together for about 45 minutes. This sequence was designed to straighten your core and also to stretch your whole body. Uh, so let's dive into it. We're gonna start with our knees and feet together, hips on heels. Now separate your knees wide and press your palms in onto your thighs. Straightening the elbows. Keep the chest up. Let's breathe together. Inhale through the nose. And let it out through the mouth. One more. Inhale. And let it out. Inhale. And on your exhale, lower down. Bend from the lower spine. Get your forehead on the floor as you stretch your fingertips forward. Drop the chest in between your knees, in between your thighs. Relax your hips back on your heels. And in each inhale, you stretch your fingertips a little bit more forward. And on your exhale, stretch your tailbone back, hips back on your heels. Take one more breath here. And on your next breath, Walk your fingertips to the right corner of your mat, stretching the left side of the body. Rest your chest on your thigh and your forehead on your mat. For a deeper stretch, you can stack your palms and make sure you keep your left hip shoulder down, shoulders in one line. Take one more breath here and let it out. Now one more inhale, and on your exhale, come back center and stretch your fingertips forward. Now let's move to the left. Feel the stretch in the right side of the body, it's a gentle stretch. Also you can stack your palms here for a deeper stretch, keeping your right shoulder down, shoulders in one line. One more breath here. And let it out. Now come back center and tabletop. Bring your wrist underneath your shoulders, fingers wide open. Knees hip with distance. Now tuck your toes to stabilize your knees. Now from here, right arm up, circle your arm. We warm up the shoulders. Right arm up and underneath your body for threading the needle. Now, palm facing up, keep your hips back, just very little weight on the top of your head. Stay here for a breath. And change. Right palm back on the floor, left arm, circle the arm. Warming up the left shoulder. Now, thread the needle. the belly in tight, keep your hips back, again very little weight on your head, feel the stretch in your left shoulder, and change, back to your tabletop, now here we're going to do cow and cat, so inhale, lift the chest up, chin up, hips up, arch the spine, shoulders down away from your ears. On your exhale, tuck the chin, round through the upper spine, pull the belly in tight, look in between your thighs, round the spine. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. One more, inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Now find your tabletop, flatten the spine, point the tailbone back, pull the belly in tight. Now from here, you keep your toes stuck and get your knees up off the floor and pull the belly in tight and let's hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring your knees back on the floor. Now right knee to the, to the nose and hold it. Now flex your right foot and circle the hips. Circle from the hip. Now keep your right heel back as you stretch 
sure the left fingertips forward for spinal balance. Now take everything out to the side for compass. Keep your heel in line with the hip. Pull the belly in tight. Bring it back center. And tabletop. Send your hips back on your heels. As you stretch your fingertips forward, take a break here, take a breath. Now come back on your tabletop, we're going to do left side. So bring your left knee to the nose and hold it. And then circle the hip. Move from the hip. Now keep your left heel back as you reach your right fingertips forward. Spinal balance. Now take everything out to the side for compass. Keep your heel high in line with your hip. Flex your left foot. Bring it back center. And tabletop. Now flatten your uh, feet. So untuck your uh, uh, toes. And send your hips back. Stretch your fingertips forward. Take a break. And take a breath. Now find your tabletop again. Keep your shoelaces flat on the floor. Now you want to press down through your shins and through your shoelaces to get your knees up off the floor. So press down through your feet, knees up off the floor. Hold it here for four, three, two, and one. Change. Now walk your hands a little bit forward, a few inches. Tuck your toes and send your hips up for downward dog. Good. Now press up through the palms and push your chest forward towards the thighs as you send your hips up, tailbone up towards the ceiling. Let's move the heels up and down. So lift the heels up and bring them down. One more time. In. Heels up, heels down. Now on your next one, heels up and hop forward and send your hips up. Now from here, you can micro bend the knees just a tiny bit. Now keep your palms on the floor. You bend your knees way back into your heels. You want to create a shelf for your chest. Hold it here. Now send your hips back. Stretch the spine down. Bend your knees again. Hold it. Lift your hips up, hold it, bend your knees again, and send your hips up. Now bring your palms on your knees for number seven, halfway lift. Point the tailbone towards the back, pull the belly in tight. Gaze, gaze down, neck in line with the spine. Forward fold again, and roll yourself up all the way, one vertebra at a time, shoulders back, arms by your side. Good. Now arms up for mountain. Palms facing each other, fingers wide open, shoulders down away from your ears. Press your hip bones forward, point the tailbone down, keep your weight back into your heels. Now cactus your arms for backward bending. Lift the chest up through the breastbone. As you push your hips forward, keep the weight back into your heels. Chest up more. Send your arms up, back for mountain. Now hands in prayer in front of your chest, forward fold, all the way down. Now halfway lift, number seven. Forward fold, plant your feet, palms on the floor, and send your feet back for high plank. Hold it here. Now open up to the right for side plank. Stagger your heels, flex your feet, keep the hips up. Now high plank. Open to the left. Again, stagger your heels this time, knees locked. Hips up, stretch up. Now find your high plank again. And bend your elbows and you go down all the way. Now we're ready for cobra. So keep your hands underneath your shoulders. Press down through the palms, chin on the floor. Now bring your feet together, press down through your feet. Heels touch. Contract the thighs so your knees up off the floor. Take a deep breath, eyes up, chin up, chest up. Keep just the belly button on the floor, the rest of your upper body up in the air. Push the chest forward between your arms, chin up more. 
Stretch down the elbows and the shoulders. Press down to the palms, just up, chin up. And change, bring your chin on the floor. Arms by your side. Now locust. Bring your arms underneath your body, palms facing the floor. Fingers wide open. Press down through your fingertips. Stretch your chin forward. Now relax your left foot. Take a deep breath. Stretch your right leg back and up. Minimum of 45. Lock the knee. Push the chest down, leg up. Push the shoulders down, leg up. And change. Right leg down. Relax your right foot. Take a deep breath. Stretch your left leg back and up. Minimum 45 degrees. Shift your weight forward. Push the chest down, leg up. Push the shoulders down, leg up. Change. Left foot down and in, mouth on the floor. Get your fingertips further down towards your knees. Keep your elbows underneath your body. Knees locked, feet together, point the toes. Take a deep breath, both legs up. Think about bending the middle spine. Shift your weight forward, push the chest down, legs up. Lock the knees, feet together. Come up one more time. And change. Bring your legs down, arms by your side. Take a break and take a breath. Now full locust, arms out to the side, airplane wings, palms facing down. Knees locked, feet together, point the toes. Take a deep breath, eyes up, arms, legs, everything up. Fingertips, stretch your fingertips away from your shoulders, arms as high as possible, maybe above your head, legs up, chest up, exhale, breathing, come up one more time. And change, bring your chin on the floor, Bend your knees for bow. Grab your feet a couple of inches below your toes. Palms with index fingers. Relax the palms. Straighten the wrist. Keep your knees in, hip with distance. Take a deep breath, press your elbows down and kick your knees back and up. Roll forward. Keep the soft part of your belly. Stretch your chin up and over. Look for the toes. Relax the shoulders, knees in. Kick, when the toes kick, and change. Chin on the floor, arms by your side. Now tuck your toes, hands underneath your shoulders, and push yourself up. Send your hips up for downward dog. Now heels up, heels down, one more. Heels up and down. Now hop forward. Forward fold. Now hands on your palms, on your um, knees. Halfway lift. Forward fold and come up all the way up. Mountain, arms up, palms facing each other. Fingers wide open. Open up for backward bending. Cactus the arms, lift the chest up. Arms up for mountain. Forward fold. Now halfway lift. Forward fold, palms on the floor. Step back, high plank. Hold it here for a breath. Now open to the right. This time you want to stack your feet. Flex your feet, stretch up, keep the hips up. Now change, high plank. Let's open to the left. Stack your feet for this one. Flex your feet, lift the hips up. Pull the belly in tight. Find your high plank, send your hips up, take a breath here, one-legged dog, so lift your right leg up, flex your right foot, bend your right knee and open up to the right, open up the hip, bring your heel towards your left foot, send your right leg back up, now bring your right knee to the nose and hold it, send your right leg back up. Cross the body and bring your knee to the left elbow. Hold it. Right leg back up. And step in between your feet for low lunge. Drop your back knee on the floor. Lift the chest up. Hold the belly in tight. Now, bring your hands on the floor, inside of your foot. And stretch your chest forward. Stretch your spine forward. Take a wider step if you need to, to open up the hips a little bit more. 
Now you want to move your foot, right foot, to the right. Now see if you can drop down on your forearms. You can roll on the right, on the edge of your right foot. And from here, push your right knee out with your right palm. One breath here. And change. Now bring your foot back. Bend your, uh, bend your uh, back knee and send your heel back. Okay? Now bring, you want to try, you want to try to bring your right shoulder underneath behind your right knee. So go ahead. Your right palm comes around, also of your foot. Right shoulder underneath behind your right knee. Lift your right heel up and cup your heel with your left palm. Now press down through your right palm and stretch your left right leg out and up. Now you want to bend your elbows, elbow, and lifting the, opening up the chest. And change. Bring your foot back on the floor. Back heel. Center. Now hands on the floor. Tuck your back toes. And send your hips up. Straighten in your legs. Now bring your left hip forward and find your pyramid. Stretch your spine down all the way. Now bring your hands in between your feet. Fingers pointing the back foot and thumbs pointing the front foot. Bend your fingertips, press down through your fingertips and get your left foot off the floor. Lean forward, hug your knees together, point your left toes. Stretch the spine down, hold it here and change. Bring your left foot back on the floor. Now left palm will stay on the floor and send your right arm up, opening up the chest. Look up, stretch up. And change both hands on the floor. Now send your hips back on your back heel. Flex your right foot. Stretch forward. Now crawl forward. Take a breath here. Halfway. Halfway split. Flex your right foot. Feel that stretch in the back side of your right leg. Stretch your spine forward. Now shift forward, come up, back knee up off the floor, and come up for crescent, arms up. Now open up for warrior, open up to the left. Stretch your fingertips apart, push your hips forward. Now rest your right elbow on your right knee for side angle. Now wrap your left arm around your lower, sp lower spine. Grab your right inner thigh with your left fingertips. Now slide your right fingertips down towards the floor. Keep the hips low, chest up. And change, come up in a warrior. Now reverse warrior, send your right arm up. Then windmill your arms and go down. Right leg back, right leg high. Hold it, right leg down. We're gonna do left side. Left leg up, hold it, bend your left knee and open up the left hip. Send your left leg back up. Now left knee to the nose and hold it. Left leg back up, hold it. Cross the body and bring your knee to the right elbow. Left leg back up. And step in between your feet for low lunge. Back knee on the floor. Chest up, stretch up. Pull the belly in tight. Now bring your hands on the floor. Keep the chest forward, straightening the spine. Take a break here and take a breath. Now move your left foot to the left and drop down on your forearms. Roll to the edge of your foot. Now push your knee out with your left palm. Send your breath to your hips. And 
bring it back. Hands back on the floor. Bring your foot center line. Now again, back your back, oh, bend your back knee and send your heel behind you. Now drop the chest down. Your left palm goes around your foot. Press down through your left palm, left shoulder, shoulder behind and underneath your left knee. Lift your left foot heel high and cup your heel with your right hand. Now from here, press down through your left palm, get your foot up off the floor and stretch your foot forward, stretch your leg forward, then bend your elbow, see if you can pull the foot up, opening up the chest, and change, bring your foot back on the floor. center line. Now tuck your toes and send, lift your hips up, straightening the legs. Bring the right hip forward, find your pyramid variation. Stretch forward, stretch your fingertips forward as you slide your rib cage down on your front leg. Now bring your hands in between your feet, cup your fingertips, okay, press down through your uh, fingertips, Get your right foot up off the floor, hug your knees together, stretch the spine down. Bring your right foot back on the floor. And keep your right palm on the floor as you send your left arm up, opening up the chest, breathe here. Bring your left palm back on the floor. And back knee on the floor, send your hips back on your heels. Flex your left foot so you stretch the back side of your left leg as you stretch your fingertips forward, stretch the spine forward. Crawl forward, hold it here. Halfway lift, flex your left foot. And right knee, uh, right knee back up off the floor and come up for crescent, arms up, pull the belly in tight, chest up. Now open to the right for warrior. Stretch your fingertips away, apart. Push your hips forward. Now drop your elbow on your thigh. You can rest here. Right arm goes around and grab your left inner thighs with your fingertips. From here, slide your fingertips down towards the floor. Now come up for warrior. Reverse warrior. With me, your arms, you go down, left leg up, and left leg down. Find your high plank. Now you open to the right. This time, stack your feet, right arm up. Lift the hips up. Let's lift your right leg up for start. Flex your right foot, pull the belly in tight, hips high. Change, feet together, high plank. Open to the left, stack your feet, left arm up, hips high. Lift your left leg up for start. Find your balance, engage the core, change. Both high plank, send your hips up for downward dog. Take a breath here and bring your knees on the floor. Good. Now, we're gonna do lotus sequence. So, straighten your legs in front of you. Now, you bend, bend your right knee and bring your right foot over your left thigh, as close to your pelvis as possible. Bend your left knee and bring your left foot over your right thigh for a full lotus. If you're doing half lotus today, you wanna bring your left foot underneath your right thigh, okay? Now from here, you wanna bring your knees in closer to each other. Take a breath here and we'll do lifted lotus. So go ahead, bring your hands on your side, cup your fingertips. You can always do palms flat, but um, tend your fingertips. I would suggest to try this one so you build strength in your fingers. 
okay? Make sure you're not collapsing in your uh, knuckles, okay? Strong fingers, strong fingertips, okay? Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, roll forward, let everything out. Now lift your hips and knees up off the floor at the same time. Engage the core, eliminate the rocking, hold it here for three, two, and one. Bring your hips and knees down on the floor at the same time. Good. Now, untwist, uncross your legs. And let's do left foot first. Over your thigh. Then right leg. Over your thigh. Press down through your palms. Come up on your knees. And lie on your belly on your mat. Good. We'll, try, we'll start with spider. So go ahead, reverse namaskar. Bring your palms together. Start at the base of your spine and walk your way up eventually in between your shoulder blades. Elbows wide open. Now relax your glutes. And take a breath here. Change, now bring your hands on the floor, underneath your body. We're gonna do a lotus cobra. Press down through your palms. Take a deep breath. Eyes up, chin up, chest up. Elbows close to the body, shoulders down. Lift the chest up, chin up. And change, bring your chin on the floor and push yourself up. Okay. We have one more, one here, mountain. So let's give it a try. Again, you want to bring your knees in more, flex your feet. So you want to hook your thighs with your toes. For this one, I like to use some help. I like to use a prop. I need help for this one. So anything will do, maybe just your water bottle. You want to come up on your knees and think about for the whole time here, think about pushing your hips forward, flexing your feet. Right arm up. Now push your hips forward, pull the belly in tight. Find one point of focus forward. And maybe left hand up. Or maybe front of your chest to start with. Oh, well, it's okay. It's a work in progress. Give it a try. And when you're ready, change. Okay. Now go ahead, meet me in. Um, Meet me on, on a downward dog. So go ahead, separate your feet, hip with distance, hips high, tailbone up. Now let's flow together again. Right leg up, flex your right foot, bring your knee to the nose and hold it. Send your right leg back up again and hold it. Now cross the body. This time, plant your right foot down on the floor and send your left arm up, opening up the chest. Now bring your left palm back on the floor. Right foot goes around, spin it around. And get your toes on the floor as you stretch your fingertips forward, lift your hips up. Wild thing. Change. Come back. Right leg high. Step in between your hands. Arms up for crescent. Open to the right for warrior. Now let's do side angle with the grip. So bend your right elbow and bring your hand underneath your right uh, thigh, your left arm around, bind your hands, push your hips forward, chest up. Hold it here for a breath. Then hop with your left foot for bird of paradise. Now press down through your left foot as you straighten your left leg, as you straighten the spine. You can stay here or stretch your right leg out to the side, flexing your right foot. Keep the chest up, breathe, and change. Right foot back on the floor. Step back. Find your warrior. Reverse warrior. Windmill your arms. And we go down, 
right leg high, right leg back on the floor. Left leg up, flex your left foot. Bring your left knee to the nose and hold it. Send it back up again and hold it. Now cross the body, this time plant your foot and stretch your right fingertips up. Now bring it back, right palm on the floor. Left foot comes back and spinning around. Toes on the floor, hips high, stretch your fingertips. Change, bring it back on the floor. Send your left leg high, downward dog. And step in between your feet. Now crescent, come up all the way, pull the belly in tight. Now open up for warrior. Let's do side angle with a bind. So go ahead, you bend your left elbow and the knee. Right arm goes around and bind your hands. Keep the chest up, push the hips forward. Breathe. Now hop. Now you press down through your right foot. Lift yourself up. First you straighten the knee. You straighten the chest out over the spine, lifting the chest up. Now, if you're good here, see if you can stretch your left leg out to the side. Find the toes and change. Bring your left leg back on the floor. Step back, find your warrior. Reverse warrior, breathe. Wind in your arms and lift your left leg high. Left leg back on the floor. Now, walk forward or hop forward. Halfway lift. Forward fold. All the way up. Arms down by your side, shoulders back. Good. Balancing series. We're going to start with big toe hold. So go ahead, stand on your left leg. Lock the left knee. Left hand on your waist. Now bend your right knee up to the chest and hold it. And grab the big toe for one. Big toe in the middle and index finger between your big toe and second toe. Keep the right hip down, hips in one line. Now kick for two. Heel a little bit higher than your hip. Flex the foot. Chest up, spine stays straight. Now bring it out to the side. Find the balance. Bring it forward again. And for three, you're going to switch hands. Grab your foot from the outside with your left hand as you reach your right arm behind you. Chin over your right shoulder. And change. Bring it back center for four. Grab that big toe again. Hands on waist. Hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. Bend your right knee, feet together. Let's do left side. Lock the right knee and bring your left knee up to the chest. Hold it here. Then grab the big toe. Middle and index finger between your big toe and second toe. Kick for two. Keep the left hip down, standing knee locked. Take it out to the side. Hold it. Bring it center. And switch hands for three as you reach your left arm back behind you. Now very gently, chin over your shoulder. Come back center. Grab your big toe. Oops. Now hands on hips. Hold it. For five, four, three, two, and one. Change. Bend your knee, feet together, arms down, shoulders back. Okay, we're gonna do standing bow. So feet together, right hand out, palm facing up. Bring your hand out to the right, drop the palm, grab your foot. Hold it from inside at the ankle bone, five fingers together. Stretch your left arm up, chin up. Inhale, stretch up. And kick your right leg back and up. Stay lifted to the chest. Slide your shoulder forward along the chin. Bring the body down, abdomen parallel the floor. Kick back and up. Press down through your big toe and little toe. Kick, stretch forward, point the toes, kick. And change. 
Left side, left hand out, bring your hand out to the left, drop the palm and grab your fifth. Stretch your right arm up, chin up, relax the left shoulder down and back. Inhale, stretch up and kick your left knee back and up. Slide your shoulder forward along the chin. Point the toes towards the ceiling, bring the body down, kick. Stretch your shoulders apart, kick. Point the toes, kick. And change. Feet together, arms down, shoulders back. Okay, balancing stick. Arms up, palms together, just press the thumbs. Right leg step forward, bring your left toes in the air. Point the toes, stretch up, and bring your body down, leg up, chest down, leg up. Your whole body parallel the floor, point the toes behind you, bring your left hip down. Now, open the arms, separate your palms and swing your arms down and back for split arms. Now, lift the chest up, chin up, as you bring your body down, leg up, point the toes, chest up, chin up, body down, leg up, and change. Bring your feet together, arms up, left leg step forward, bring your toes in the air, right toes in the air. You stretch up and go, body down, leg up, chest down, leg up, your whole body pat on the floor, point the toes behind you, now separate your palms and swing your arms down and up, chest up, chin up, now bring the body down, leg up, think about ribcage to the thigh, chest up, chin up, arch the spine, body down, leg up, and change, feet together, arms down, shoulders back. Standing splits. So we start with feet together. Arms up. Palms together, cross the palms. Right leg step forward, bring your left toes in the air, stretch up. And body down, leg up, chest down, leg up, bring your hands on the floor. Now your left palm will stay on the floor. You can micro bend the right knee. So you can hook your right heel with your right palm. Wrap your calf muscle with your forearm and pull on your heel as you stretch the spine down. In the same time, you lift your left leg up, point the toes, eventually standing split and change. Come up, oops, feet together, left leg step forward, right toes in the air, you stretch up. And go body down, leg up, chest down, leg up, hands on the floor. Go ahead, you can micro bend the left knee, cup your heel. Now pull on your heels as you straighten the leg, as you stretch the spine down, you lift your right leg up, point the toes. And change. Come up, feet together. Arms down by your side, shoulders back. Now, arms up for mountain, palms facing each other, fingers wide open, drop the shoulders down. Now again, open up for backward bending, lift the chest up, cactus the arms. Arms up, mountain, hands in prayer, forward fold. Now halfway lift, forward fold. And step your feet back, find your high plank. Now let's we'll do one more side plank. Now stack your feet here, stretch up. Now you bend your right knee and tap your toes to your inner, inner knee. Hold it here, hips up. Change. Back to your high plank. Let's open up to the left. Stack your feet first. Send your left arm up. Now bend your left knee, point the toes. Your toes tapping your inner right knee. Change. Back to your high plank. Now bend your right knee and bring it outside to your wrist for pigeon. Good. Now hips in one line, square the hips. Now back foot should be straight. Your shoelaces or kneecap facing down. Now before you go forward, for, forward, before you fold forward, think about 
pushing the chest down and forward, arching the lower spine. Now go all the way down. Or forehead resting on your mat. Stretch your fingertips forward. Keep your hips square. Now relax your left glutes. Sink your hips deeper. Take one more breath here. And change. Come up. Now we're going to do mermaid. So go ahead and your back knee. Well, bend your back knee and point the toes. Now wrap your elbow around your foot. Right arm up. Keep your left hip down. Find that balance. Now bind your hands behind your head. Keep your chin away from the chest, just up. Left hip down, left hip forward. Hold it here, breathe. And change, release. Send your right leg back. We do left side, bend your left knee. Bring your left knee outside of your wrist. Both hips in one line, the kneecap and the shoelace flat on the floor. Your foot should be straight. Keep the right hip forward. Push the hips down and forward, chest up. Now bend from the lower spine, go down. Relax your glutes. One more breath here. And change. Come up. Mermaid, you bend your back knee. Make sure you keep the right hip forward. Don't let it uh, open. Now hook your elbow around your foot. And bind your hands behind your head. Keep the chest up, right hip down, chin away from the chest. There you go. See, this is what's happening when you, you are, when you open the right hip. Push it down and forward. Keep the chest up. And change. Release. Bring your left leg back. Let's do a straddle. <coughs> Excuse me. So, stretch your legs out to the side, flex your feet. <coughs> Excuse me. Make sure your heels are in one line. Lift the chest up and send your tailbone back, hips back. Now, with your chest up, with your spine straight, walk your hands forward and see how far can you go today. Avoid rounding the spine, okay? Keep the chest up, send your hips back, send your tailbone back. Walk a little bit more with each breath. Place your feet, maybe down on your forearms or your chest flat on the floor, if you're there. And change. Come up, bend your knees. Let's do a spine twist. Bend your left knee and bring your right foot over the knee corner. Right foot flat. Bring your both head bones on the floor. Right hand behind you, straight on the spine. Left arm up. Bring it over to your knee. Push the knee back. And you just can bend the elbow here without grabbing the knee. Bring your right hip back on the floor. And if you can maintain a straight spine, right arm, right arm on your back. 
around your back, reach for your left inner thigh with your fingertips. Lift the chest up, chin up, turn your head, chin over your right shoulder. Lift the chest up, bring your right hip bone back on the floor, turn and twist. Relax your right shoulder down and back. Sway the right elbow back, turn and twist and twist. And change. Okay, bend your right knee now. Bring your left foot over the knee corner. Bring your both hip bones on the floor. Left hand behind you, straight up the spine. Right arm up, bring it over to your knee. Keep your elbow bent and push the knee back. With the help of your elbow, bring your left hip bone back on the floor. Wrap your bra, wrap your arm around your body, lift the chest up, chin up, turn your head, chin over your left shoulder. Lift the chest up more. Send your left hip back down on the floor. Sway the left elbow back. Turn and twist, chin over your shoulder. And change. Now untwist and please take Savasana with your arms by your side, palms facing down, palm facing up. You can close your eyes. Inhale through the nose and just let it out through the mouth. And with each breath, your body goes a little bit deeper and go ahead and relax every single part of your body. Inhale and let it out. One more inhale together and let it out through the mouth. Just surrender to this present moment. And if you're ready, you can open your eyes, wiggle your toes and your fingers. You can bend your knees and the chest, give yourself a hug, give yourself love. You can roll yourself up in a seated position and you're back to you. Okay, thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll see you next time. Don't forget to be you and namaste.